So I'm going to just, to make it easier, going to hold on to these, okay, on the end, and I'm going to grab a hold of the, ba of the uh, dumbbells <laughs> right here, like that, then set myself up. I'm going to come down and then just slip this underneath my feet like that. So I might be sorry I did this because these are the heavier weights and I'm adding more? What am I thinking? All right, so I've kind of got the band wrapped around the dumbbell and then I'm holding on to it securely. We'll hope that it um, stays there. So standing up. So now I've got more resistance as I stand up farther away from the floor. So inhale and then exhale, up you go. can definitely feel that it is more. And here we go, six. Inhale, exhale, seven. Four more, inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Last two, inhale, squat, exhale up. One more time, inhale, exhale, and then down, drop the weights, take this off. Woohoo! definitely made it harder. So that's one way if you don't have heavier weights, you can just increase that resistance simply using bands. All righty, and just toss those side and then I want you to get your foam roller it's okay if you don't have a long one we can just use your short one I'm mostly going to use it as if you had a short one but if you got a long one I'm going to show you a couple things who knows you might want to buy another one that is longer this is uh, 36 inches long so let's begin make your way down to the mat here and I want you to have a sit right on top there. Sit bones right on top, feet out in front, hands come behind. And we're going to start with rolling across the gluteals. So take your time, it doesn't be fast. In fact, you can just kind of roll, find a spot, hang out and try to relax, roll a little more, maybe sort of shift a bit side to side like that, and roll a little more. You can kind of drop those knees from left to right there. And then roll up to the tops of the glutes. Maybe hang out there. And again, rolling the knees from the left over to the right. Good. And then just come back again, starting at the tops of the hamstrings. And then just roll across the glutes. The glutes where they kind of insert in to the low back there. And kind of attach right on top of the pelvis there on the back side. And push forwards. And you get a little core benefit here because as you're pushing forwards here, obviously I'm back here and I'm having to engage the core muscles in order to just do a back flop onto the mat. All right, and let's just go one or two more. So general rule of thumb, eight to 10 passes back and across a span of muscle. So now we're going to go from the backs of the knees up to the top of the hamstring. So it requires a little upper body strength in order to do this one. You got to hold your body weight up. If that's uncomfortable for you or you've got bad wrists, you can do that with your fists or you can bring one foot out and just do one leg at a time. So that's always an option for you. So we're going to go front and we're going to come back into the front and then back. And then you can kind of roll like this side to side, just sort of shimmying across the roller with your legs. And so what that's doing is it's just, if you could see inside, I so wish that there was a way to like cast on a huge screen up here behind me, sort of the internal visual, like x-ray vision of what's going on when we do this. Um, one day that technology is going to be there. 
but if you could see, it's just kind of pulling those muscle fibers laterally as you're going back and forth. So it's a great way to loosen up any adhesions, any scar tissue that may have developed over time from just different injuries or pulls. All right, and then let's take it to the calf. So you're gonna kind of roll it down. Let's just let it sit right in the middle of the calves and just kind of hang out there for a moment. And while you're hanging out, just kind of roll the legs internally, externally like that. So you're rolling across those mid calf muscles laterally. And if you're tight, you're gonna feel a little, little tension in there. I mean, it's not unusual for you to feel pain, so don't, don't completely freak out if you feel some pain. That might be addressing an issue um, that's been neglected for a while. It needs to be stretched out. It needs to be massaged out. And then just keep rolling it down. Ah, and then just go back and forth. If you feel like there's knots in there, and what it typically will feel like is maybe a, a wad of like hardened bubble gum kind of lodged in the muscles there, that is not right and that should not be so and uh probably need to stretch that out massage it out okay and then just keep on going down almost to the achilles tendons now you don't want to ever roll on the achilles tendons you could actually do more damage so don't go too far down um, you just want to stop right where the calf muscle kind of stops and then it becomes tendon Okay, and then we're gonna come back up a little higher here and let's try and lift your body weight up and then just roll it in and shoot your legs out there. So roll it in, shoot the legs out. So in, out, in. All right, so next you are going to sit in front of the foam roller here, not right up against the low back, but roll it back some so that you come just above the waistband. So if you're wearing, you want that foam roller to be a little bit higher above that. Feet hip width apart, interlace the fingers, hips come up. Let's go. Rolling back and forth across that mid back region. Pull those abs in. So engage your core muscles. Think little core workout bonus here. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Inhale, push away. Exhale, draw the heels in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. So you tend to kind of roll away <laughs> or get off your mat. So every now and then you gotta readjust. Now let's go from the base of the shoulder blades up towards the neck. So from here, and you want those elbows out so you can address the full span of the upper back muscles there. And we just roll right up to here. Don't go right on your neck, just almost there. And then roll back to just at the base of the shoulder blades. And then you're drawing the heels into the glutes and then you're pushing with the legs, almost extending. Again, draw in and then push away. And a couple more here, draw it in and push away. Now, what if you did this? What if you did a little side winder, kind of laterally flexing from side to side and it just feels so good on those back muscles, I think. Uh, maybe it's just me, but it just really feels like it's stretching it out. You're going to find that when we get into the yoga in just a minute here, you're going to feel so much looser from the get. -go. So that's why I like doing the foam rolling first before it's kind of a, a prep as we go into it. Righty. So we'll do the front side and then we'll get into the yoga. Park your foam roller here come on to all fours so you're on your hands and knees you're going to roll right across the fronts of your shins so this is addressing the anterior tibialis muscle it's right there on the front of your lower leg and it's what's responsible for picking your toes up every time you take a step so it's a high endurance slow twitch muscle um, but it gets tired it needs a little care like all the other muscles in the body and how about a little shimmy go back and forth 
One more time, shimmy this way, and shimmy, shimmy, shimmy that way. All right, so from here, come into elbow plank. Roll it in and then just let that foam roller start right above the knees, never being on any bones, so don't be on your kneecaps. Push to roll back here, just to the tops of your thigh. Pull with your arms back up to start position. So inhale, exhale, try to relax. So with straight legs, um, it's a little, if you were to bend the knees as much as you can, you're really putting a stretch on the quadriceps, then your foam rolling. You kind of maximize there. So that would be too much for you. You can do a windshield wiper action with the legs as you slowly roll from back to front. Yay, yay, yay. Should be good though. Breathe. Don't let your back touch too much. Try to pull those abs up. Stretch those legs out. All right. Then from here, show you one thing you can do with the foam roller this way. So sometimes, and I've taught Pilates classes using a foam roller, um, like this, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, but you want to set it up long way. Um, so if you're really short person and you've got a small foam roller, this actually might work, but for most of us, we need a longer one in order to get our entire spine on the roller. So you're just basically trying to line up your spine with the roller. Your head is at the very top here. Okay, and then like if we were to do some Pilates on the roller, it's a matter of just lifting the legs up. So you know you've got a super engaged or you're going to be off of this thing. And we do the toe taps, dead bug stuff. But for today, just hold the hands together right over your chest. Off. So bring your right hip and right shoulder blade off over here so there's a slight rotation. And then roll right across and then take it over to the other side here. Okay, so it's just working across those muscle fibers in a different direction. So it's called cross fiber friction when you go, you know, this way and that way and then sometimes diagonally. So you're just trying to do the foam rolling, do the soft tissue therapy in all directions. It's easy to almost fall off as you see I just almost did. <laughs> all right, and then just start to roll all the way over here to the right. Come on off and then come on up. And then let's just toss that aside for now. And then we'll get to the balls a little bit later. I'm gonna show you how to get the neck and the traps like I was talking about. But let's come up onto all fours onto your mat. So hands are right underneath. So you know what I gotta do? I'm gonna move up slowly because I know if I go up too fast, I am going to mess up that focus thing. But there's a way that I can see y'all and I didn't do this yet. Alrighty, hi John Nippon, hi Eve. Good morning, all y'all. Good morning, friends. It's Saturday. All right, so we are starting in tabletop position here. Inhale, breath. Let your belly drop. Lift your head up. Exhale, breath. Rounding your spine under. Squeeze your abdominals in. You're spreading your shoulder blades apart. You're even feeling a stretch along the base of your neck. And curl the toes. Drop your belly. Inhale, lift your head up. Exhale, breath, toes curl under again, rounding your spine. Spread the fingers wide, super straight arms as you squeeze your core here. And then one more time, uncurl your toes, belly drops head up, inhale. Exhale, toes curl under and then round your back, squeeze your abdominals. Good, now uncurl the toes, inhale, right leg, left arm reaching out. Exhale, move diagonally. <sighs> Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, bend the knee, lift your head, reach back and touch your foot. Do it again. Inhale, breath, reach the arm and the leg straight out. Exhale, breath, move diagonally. <sighs> Inhale, breath, back to the center line. Exhale, bend the knee, reach back, grab your foot and lift your chest. Good, reach out, inhale, breath. 
Exhale, hand and knee come down, and then you round the back up here. Return to flat back, other side, left leg, right arm reaching out, inhale. Exhale, breath, move off center. It's a diagonal line. Inhale, breath, reach straight out. Exhale, bend the knee, reach back, and see if you can find your foot back there. Do it again, inhale, reaching out. Exhale, move diagonally. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend the knee, reach back, grab your foot, and then really give it a good stretch there. Lift your head and chest up. Release, inhale. Exhale, hand and knee down, round your back. Let's push all the way back. Walk, walk, walk your hands out. And then drop your forehead down to the mat. From here, come onto your forearms. So elbows are out, hands together, toes curl under and back. Inhale. Exhale, round your back, tuck your chin, look back at your knees, and then from there, straighten your legs out, melt your heels to the back of the mat. So we're in dolphin stretch here. It's kind of a, I consider it a modification of down dog. So we're gonna alternate stretching into the calves. So walk it out, shifting the weight back and forth from foot to foot. I want you to really feel the underside of your foot stretch out and the toes stretching out. Alrighty, feet together. Try to press the heels down, strong through the shoulders. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, breath, lower your foot down next to the other, but keep your hips up high. Other side, inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, breath, lower your foot down. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, breath, lower down. And then wiggle your toes back a little farther and let's shift it into elbow plank here. Inhale, breath. Exhale, squeeze your core. Try to push your toes down into the floor and almost like you're trying to drag them in towards your hands. Once again, inhale. Exhale, push down with your toes. Good, now drop your knees, uncurl the toes, drop your hips, place them there. Look forwards, inhale, press up. Exhale, release. I just hang heavy here, a little side to side. Out, inhale, breath, look forwards. Exhale, drop the, your head and let it hang right there. So nice stretch or long extensors there in back. Time, inhale, stretch those arms out. And then exhale, release all the way down and walk the hands out in front. Thumbs are up. Head in line with your spine. Right leg, left arm, lift up, inhale. Exhale, circle this arm around, find a toe, push down with that right arm and look forwards. Inhale, breath, release and stretch it out. Exhale, down. Inhale, left leg, right arm up. Exhale, bend the knee, circle this arm around. If you can, find a foot, a toe. Even if you can't do that, look up. And then release, inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, lower down. One more time on each side, go. Inhale, right leg, left arm up. Exhale, bend the knee, reach around, grab your foot. Inhale, release. Exhale, down. Inhale, left leg and right arm up. Exhale, circle it around, grab a hold of whatever you can find back there and then lift up and stretch. Inhale, release. Exhale, lower down. Slide the hands back right under the shoulders, elbows in close. Inhale, breath, press up. Exhale, send the sit bones up. Tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Let's pedal it out here. Shift the weight back and forth, foot to foot. 
Anytime you want to take a break, feel free to just drop into child's pose, hang out for as long as you need to, and then just join back in. You are not a failure because you take a rest. You are not a failure because you honor your body. It's about listening to your body, doing what you can do today. And the body that you have with you today might feel a little different than yesterday. It could be better, it could be worse. I mean, we, we never have like a perfectly steady, you know, sensation and feeling of strength and vim and vigor and whatever in our bodies. It changes. So straight legs, you're going to do some three leg dogs now. So reach your right leg back and up, inhale. Exhale, bend the knee, keep your hips high. You're gonna pull the knee underneath. See if you can touch your right triceps. Reach the leg back up, inhale. Exhale, set the right foot down. Inhale, there's mocha, left leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, keep your hips high. Shift forward, squeeze your core. See if you can bring this knee now to the tricep. Inhale, stretch your leg up. Exhale, down. Again, one more time on each side. Right leg up, inhale, breath. Exhale, bend the knee, keep your hips high. Squeeze your core. Draw the knee to the triceps. Inhale, breath, reach your leg up. Exhale, down. Left leg up, inhale, breath. Exhale, bend the knee, pull the hips up high, draw the belly in, pull the knee to and then last one, inhale, stretch your leg up. And then exhale, breath, set your foot down. From here, you're gonna walk, walk, walk your hands all the way back to your feet. The knees can be soft, meaning they're a little bit bent. And then separate the feet to the very outer edges of your mat. Let your head hang heavy. Now, if you were finger painting right there on the floor, to make a nice design. So just sort of dragging your fingers across the mat as you sift and sway and twist and turn. Just nice and relaxed, no right or wrong. Just kind of moving into one hip over to the other. Just loosening it all up. Good, and then just hang right there in the center. Hands can just be on the mat or you can grab opposite elbows and make a frame for your face just like this. Big inhale breath through the nose. Exhale it out. Again, inhale breath. And exhale. And then release your hands down to the mat. Straighten your legs fully so you engage the quadriceps. You inhale and lift halfway up. Push your hands against the shin bones. Pull the core in. Gaze to the very end of the mat and pull your shoulders away from your ears. Soft knees and forward fold. Do it again. Inhale, breath, half lift. Exhale, breath, soft knees and fold. Bend the knees a lot and look forwards. And then it's a slow reverse swan dive. Inhale, breath all the way up we go. Exhale, breath, draw your hands right to heart center and just do that one more time. Inhale, breath up to the top. Exhale, breath, draw the hands through to heart center. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, breath. Let's come into a prayer squat. So the hands are gonna come right to heart center. Your elbows are gonna go right on the insides of your thighs or of your inside knees. And then I want you to take your right hand and set it against that left inner thigh. Squeeze your knees together like that. So you're pushing into the elbow and the hand. And then you're gonna rotate your torso to the left. So reach that left arm up and look. But at the same time, be pushing the knees into the elbow and the hand. One more big breath here, inhale. On the exhale breath, draw this hand back next to this one and then all the way up, go inhale. Exhale, lower those arms down. And then bring the backs of the hands together. Up you go, inhale. Exhale, float them down. 
Inhale, backs of the hands together, and then the palms up, 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 and then exhale down. Inhale, breath, sweep those arms up. Exhale, breath, come into prayer squat. We're gonna do that same twist, but we're gonna go to your right. So from here, you may wanna start with just both elbows inside of those knees, but then let go of the right, place that left hand on the inside of the right, and then squeeze the knees together as you reach that right arm up and gaze at your hand. Inhale, breath. Exhale. Stay there. Again, inhale, breath. And then exhale, breath. Bring this hand back down, and then all the way up we go. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Backs of the hands together. Push the palms together up. Lower down, and then one more time. Inhale, breath. And exhale, down. So one more time on each side. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, breath. Coming into prayer squat right away. Just go into the twist to the left. Look up at your hand, inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale, breath. And then exhale breath, slowly float the hand down and then all the way up we go. And then lower those arms down. And then just one more time, inhale breath up. Exhale lower. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale breath, coming into prayer squat. And then right away, take the twist to the right, stretch that right arm up, push the knee. Once again, inhale. Lower that right hand down and all the way up we go, inhaling. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, breath up to the top. And then exhale down. Walk your feet together, maybe hip width. And you're at the back of your mat. So gazing at the very end there, we're going to inhale, breath up. Exhale, breath. Soft knees if you need to lessen the stretch in the hamstrings. So that's how you would come down. Otherwise, straighten the legs and come all the way. Inhale, breath. Half lift. Look forwards. Exhale, fold. Walk it out to plank. Top of a push-up. Inhale. On the exhale, breath. Lift the right leg up and take it into a three-leg dog. Stay there. Inhale, breath. Exhale, shift into plank this time. Do let the hips drop. Bring your right knee high on the right side. Touch the outside of your triceps. Go back up, inhale. Exhale, do it again. Plank and then knee to triceps. Inhale, breath, stretch your right leg up. Exhale, swing your foot through, step between the hands. And then from there, come up into a crescent lunge. Arms up over your head, inhale. And then exhale, breath, leaning forwards, and then plant your left hand, circle the right arm all the way around and up. Look at your hand here, inhale. And then exhale, float your right hand down, spin that back foot flat, and then facing the left, inhale, reach that left arm up. Exhale, breath, float your hand down, roll back onto the ball of the foot back there. One more time to the right, inhale, reach up. Spin your back foot flat, inhale breath, left arm goes up. And then exhale breath, hand comes back down from here, inhale. Exhale, you're gonna drag the foot all the way out and up into three leg dog again. Set your foot down next to the left and then walk it back to forward fold. So it's one, two, three, and then four. Inhale, half lift, look forwards. And then exhale, fold. Reverse, one dive, inhale up. Bring the backs of the hands together here. Reach the arms out in front and then unfurl. Do that once again, inhale, breath up. Exhale, reaching out. Good, inhale, breath up. Exhale, breath, forward fold. Inhale, breath, half lift. Exhale, fold. Walk it out to plank, top of a push-up, inhale. 
Good, and exhale breath. Reach the left leg up into three leg dog. Big inhale breath here now. On the exhale breath, coming into plank, bend the knee high on the side, touch your left triceps there. Do it again, inhale breath. Reach your left leg up. Exhale breath, come into plank, bend the knee high on the side, touch your triceps. Inhale breath, reach that leg up. And then exhale, swing your foot through, step right between the hands here for lunge. And then up we go into a crescent lunge here. Arms reaching up over your head, inhale. And then on the exhale breath, strong back, strong core, reaching out here first. And then you're gonna flip that right hand down. A circle that left arm all the way around and up. Inhale, look at your hand. Exhale, breath, float your hand down, set it on the mat right beside that. Now, spin the back foot flat. Open up your body to the right side of the room. Inhale, reach that right arm up. Exhale, breath, float your hand down. Ball of your foot back there. And then here we go with the left. Inhale, reach this left arm up. And then exhale, breath, float your hand down. Spin the back foot flat. Open up your body to the right. Reach that right arm up, inhale. Exhale, breath, float your hand down. Inhale, breath, look forwards. And then on the exhale, send the hips up, drag that foot all the way across the mat and up you go into three-leg dog. Inhale. Exhale, set that foot down next to the other. And then you're gonna walk it all the way back in forward fold and breathe. Inhale, breath, half lift, looking forwards. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, inhale all the way up to the top. Bring the backs of the hands together. Exhale as you lower those arms down in front and then unfurl like that, do it again. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, reaching out, unfurl. Inhale, breath, arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Walk it out to plank, top of a push up again. Inhale, breath here. Exhale, lift the right leg up and push it all the way up and back into a three leg dog here. And inhale. On the exhale breath, you're gonna come into plank, you're gonna bend the knee, you're gonna touch now, opposite elbow over there on the left. Do it again. Inhale breath, three leg dog up. Exhale plank, bring the knee under, across, touch the elbow. Inhale breath, stretch that right leg up. Good, now exhale breath, same thing, but you can either drop that leg down there like that or stretch the leg out straight and then we're gonna unload this left arm and kind of open up your body, look up to the ceiling, inhale. And then exhale, bring that hand down, draw the knee up in between your hands and let's just melt into a pigeon stretch here. So however far down you can go, you might feel a great stretch just right there, that's fine, or come on out farther with your hands, with your chest and breathe. Gonna slide the hands back right beside your knee as you straighten the arms out and lift your head up is under and straighten your back leg. So inhale here. On the exhale, lift your hips up more. Stretch that right leg up for a three leg dog. Good, now just lower your foot down next to the other and then walk it back into a forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, inhale to the top we go. Exhale, stretch those arms out long in front and then unfurl. Inhale up to the top, right away, exhale, forward fold. So flat back, hinging at the hips, come on down. Inhale, breath, half lift, look forwards. Exhale, fold. Walk it out to plank, top of a push up. So inhale, breath right here. On the exhale breath, lift your left leg up and let's just go right up into a nice three leg dog stretch. Stay there, inhale. On the 
the exhale breath. Come into plank, bend the knee underneath, contract your core, twist the hips. Do it again. Inhale, up you go. Exhale, plank. Knee comes under, touch your right elbow. Inhale, breath. Reach that left leg up. Exhale. So here we go. The knee comes under. You can do a twist and then simply drop your leg there and take that arm up. Or you can stretch that leg out in front and then open up your body to the right. Stretch the right arm up. Look at your hand. Keep pushing your hips up away from the floor. Inhale. And then on the exhale breath, float your right hand down. Can you draw the left knee up and take it into that awesome pigeon stretch? which is always welcomed. I think everybody loves this stretch and just the way that it feels in the glutes, how it affects the lower back and just breathe right here. Inhale, breath. Exhale it out. Slide those hands back right beside the leg as you straighten up and lift the head and chest up. Tuck your toes under, lift the knee up, inhale. On the exhale, send the hips up and then stretch your left leg up once more for three-leg dog, inhale. Exhale, lower your foot down next to the other and then walk, 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 hands all the way back to the feet for fold. Inhale, half lift, look forwards. Exhale, fold. Reverse, one dive all the way up, inhale. Exhale, extend those arms out in front and then unfurl it. And then up we go, inhale. Exhale, breath, forward fold. Inhale, breath, half lift. Exhale, fold. Walk it out to plank, top of a push up, inhale. On the exhale breath, reach that right leg up and back for three leg dog. Inhale here. On the exhale, this time you go to plank, the knee comes just directly underneath, squeeze your abs, forehead and knee get close, maybe they touch, and then go back up, inhale. Exhale, do it again, it's plank, forehead to knee. Inhale, three leg dog up. And then exhale, this time bring the knee right between the hands, not pigeon, you're gonna sit, can on that heel and then drop the left knee down, uncurl the toes, slide the left hand out, turn your torso to the right and float the right arm up and back. Now slowly, I say slowly because if you go too quick, this hamstring is going to contract, so slowly bend the knee, grab your foot if you can, try to pull the heel in towards the buttocks and then maybe you can forward stretch and then even more stretch if you roll the edge of your mat and just breathe inhale now carefully let go don't just let that foot flop down forcefully and then right hand beside the knee, left hand beside the knee, toes under, back leg straightens, inhale. On the exhale, lift your hips, and then one more three-leg dog, shooting that right leg up. Big split there, inhale. Exhale, lower the right leg down, walk your hands all the way back into forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, inhale up. Exhale, lower those arms down, unfurl, and let's just do all that on the other side and then we'll take it to the floor. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, breath, half lift, gazing at the end of the mat. Exhale, fold. Walk it out to plank, top of a push-up here. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath, three-leg dog, so send that left leg up, open up that split. Big inhale, breath. On the exhale, come to plank, forehead to knee underneath here. Do it again, inhale, breath, three-leg dog up. 
exhale, plank, forehead to knee. One more, inhale, three leg dog up. This time on the exhale, bring the knee, set it right between the hands, not pigeon, so your hips sit right on that heel if you can. Drop your back knee, uncurl your toes. Slide the right hand forwards a bit, and then start to turn your torso to the left. So this left arm is gonna reach around to the back. Now when you bend this knee, do so slowly so you don't get that cramp. So when you're ready, just start to bend the knee, grab a hold of your foot. If you can, if it's maybe just your pants, you can do that as well. So drawing that heel in to stretch the quadriceps and hip flexors. Deeper stretch, come down onto that forearm and then kind of shift your hips over to the very far right edge of the mat there. And just breathe as you look back here, inhale. Exhale. Very good, and then just slowly come out of that. Let your leg go slowly, don't let it just flop down. And then hands right beside the knee. Lift the chest up, tuck the toes under, and straighten your leg, inhale. And then on the exhale, lift the hips up, and then shoot that left leg up for one more three-leg dog stretch, inhale. And then exhale, breath, lower your foot down and then walk, walk, walk all the way back into a forward fold. Reverse swan dive, inhale up. And then exhale, lower down. Unfurl. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, fold. Walk it out, maybe just halfway, so not all the way out to plank. And you're gonna come to a sit position so there's several ways you can do it. You can just kind of walk your feet up and kind of cross. You can kind of walk out that way. You can come over to one side, walk your feet around. But one way I like to do it, I haven't done it in a long time, is do a little shoot through. So are you with me, Nikki? <laughs> Bend the knees, lift your hips, and then shoot your legs through. Boom. It's just fun, yeah. Okay, so here we are in straight sitting, extending the arms forwards, inhale, breath. Exhale, breath, draw the belly in, tuck the chin. Just float those hands down, 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 down. You're gonna come all the way down to your back and you're going to stretch the arms over your head. One full body stretch here, inhale. And then exhale, breath, relax. want you to bend the right knee and then just tuck your toes underneath that left knee. Take your left hand on the outside of your right thigh. Stretch the right arm out beside you, inhale. On an exhale, take it into knee down twist. So you're using your hand to kind of push this knee all the way to the floor over here. So go ahead and get that knee down. And then as you turn your head to look right, just gently ease that right shoulder blade back down closer to the mat. Inhale, breath. And then exhale it out. Good, now as you roll back onto your back, bend that left knee, push that thigh against the ankle, flex the right foot. Reach through and interlace for figure four stretch on your back. As you draw the legs in, use your right elbow to kind of push against that right inner thigh. So you can stay with the stretch right here, but if you want a little deeper stretch, try extending the left leg up. Maybe reach around and grab behind the calf or the ankle. And then as you draw the legs in, you can also lift the upper spine up so you bring your chest Now slowly release the shoulders and the head back down. And then as you step your left foot down, one more stretch here, cross the right leg all the way over, arms out to the side to make a T. If you're able to, hook this ankle around that ankle. So it's kind of like that eagle pose wrap with the lower body. And then take an inhale breath. 
And then on the exhale breath, let both knees together fall over to the right side and then just turn your head to look left. So you should feel a wonderful stretch across the lateral torso here on the left, the hip, even into that lower back. Good stretch for chest and shoulders as well. And just breathe, nice long inhale. And exhale it out. Maybe your back will adjust itself here. Oftentimes when we stretch, our own backs will adjust themselves. You'll feel a little popping, should feel good. All right, and then just bring your legs back up and then uncross and then extend the legs down straight. Reach the arms over your head. One full body stretch, inhale. And then exhale, breath, relax. All right, bend your left knee, tuck your left toes underneath the right, take that right hand on the outside of the thigh, left arm stretched out beside you, inhale breath. And then on the exhale breath, push your knee over to the right for knee down twist, so go ahead and let that knee come all the way down. This left shoulder most likely will come up. If you're, if you're able to have this shoulder down and that knee down, then that's like awesome, that's like amazing flexibility. Usually golfers have that because they do so much rotation in their sport. So just turn your head to look left, big inhale breath. And then exhale it out. Okay, now slowly roll back onto your back and then as you bend the right knee and push that thigh against the ankle, Flex the left foot, draw the legs in, and then from there, so you might feel a stretch already there. You can just grab a hold of your foot and your knee. Otherwise, reach through, interlace behind that right leg, and then draw the legs in closer. And then use your left elbow here against that left inner thigh to kind of push it out. So you create more external rotation in that left hip as you're pulling it in. So big inhale breath here. Exhale out. If you want more stretch, all you got to do is just straighten out that right leg and then just reposition your hands, grabbing around the calf or the ankle. Inhale. And then exhale. The leg, drawing the leg in closer to your Slowly release. And then you're gonna step that right foot down to the floor, cross this left leg all the way over, open the arms out to make a T. And then if you're able to do that little eagle pose, kind of wrap around deal with your legs down there. So ankles around ankles, inhale breath. And then on the exhale breath, let both legs together fall over here to the left side and then turn your head to look right. So again, wonderful stretch for the lateral torso, this right hip, maybe even feeling your own back adjust itself there. Big inhale. And then exhale it out. Good, and then slowly turn your head back to center, bring those knees up and then uncross and then just extend the legs down and then reach the arms over your head here, inhale. And then exhale, relax, let your whole body go limp. Okay, now just sort of shake, shake, shake your legs, kind of bounce them out to a wider position and then reposition the arms. So maybe your hands are about even with your waist, your hips, palms are up, fingers are relaxed and just get as comfortable as you can. So as you sort of scan your body from head to toe, anywhere that feels a little bit uncomfortable and just readjust and then you're going to just close your eyes and you are going to relax. And then we're going to do a little bit with the ball and we will be done. So with your arms just totally relaxed, 
Let your jaw soften. Let your mouth gently fall open. And maybe just sort of wiggle your toes and fingers a little bit. Again, getting comfortable as best you can. And just noticing any tension in the body. Imagine that inhale breath going directly there. And then as you exhale the breath, imagine that being exited out of the body. So it's as if you're just breathing in, healing, cleansing oxygen. And then you're exhaling out all the toxins, all the tension, and all the stress. So again, big inhale breath through your nose. Try to really fill up your lungs, expanding the lower lobes of your lungs as that breath comes in. And then full exhalation, allowing your belly to deflate and allowing your body to relax. And again, big inhale breath through the nose, filling up, expanding the rib cage laterally. And then long exhale out and just soften again all the muscles as if they're just melting over the bones. And then just begin to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, circle the wrists and the ankles around. And then just bending the knees one at a time, set your feet flat to the floor, and then bring the knees in one at a time, hook an arm underneath. So you make a tight little ball here with your body, rocking side to side, massaging your lumbar spine. Good, and then bring the knees and the feet together, latch the fingers together, push the legs away, tuck your chin to look at your knees and then let your back round and then you're gonna rock and roll a couple of times from front to back here. And then roll it all the way up and then just sit all the way back and then extend those arms up overhead, inhale. And then exhale breath, just draw the belly in and just round forwards, let the arms come down to the mat and then sliding forwards, come to seated forward, fold, stretch here. Good, and then slowly, slowly, slowly roll it back up and then just come to a cross leg position, sit here and then float your arms up over the head gently Palms going up, inhale, cross the wrists on the exhale breath. Just float your hands down gently in front of the face. And then we just sort of outline the legs there. Do it again. Inhale, breath up we go. Cross the other way with those wrists. And then exhale, soften the shoulders, the neck, the throat, the chest. And then all the way up we go. Last time, inhale. And then exhale, draw your hands here to heart center. And you are done with yoga. Have a very blessed day. Thank you for coming. And then take your two balls. We're going to stand up and we're going to finish this off by doing a little massage for the feet. And then I'll show you the neck trick. The neck trick. So come on up to a stand position. And then take your right foot on top of the ball. So I should have like a close up of this, but I think you can see what I'm doing. So initially you want the ball to just sort of be right where the toes connect into the foot body. And as I kind of push in, it's as if I'm trying to squish the ball with my toes. And I'm starting at the big toe and then I'm kind of moving through the middle toes down to the pinky, and then back across the middle, back to the big toe. Then I'm gonna place that ball right underneath the ball of the foot and kind of smash down on it. And then just kind of move that ball across the middle of the foot, taking it over to the outer edge and then back through the middle there. And as you're pushing down on it, you're giving your foot a wonderful massage. So a lot of this is kind of reflexology. So then next we're gonna move it and I'll kind of pull my pants up so you can see right to the arch of the foot. So I'm gonna step down and then I'm gonna rotate around like that. It's called pin and spin. 
So you want to be doing this barefoot. If you've got on your socks, take them off, I would say. Um, but it feels really, really good, especially on the arches of your feet. Um, they do a lot of work trying to hold everything up. And then lastly, you're going to go right to the heels and just kind of do a little heel pump, kind of push down on the heel there like that. And then you can kind of run, run, run your foot all the way across the ball like that. And then just switch. So I typically, you know, I always have several balls. So I'll use the other one for the other foot because in the beginning, that ball will sort of collapse. I mean, it springs back in about, you know, a minute. But um, I'll just use the other ball to get a fresh start and give equal abuse to the balls. So starting with my big toe, I'm kind of smashing into the ball. So it's as if, if this was my big toe, I'd be like pushing it back like that, stretching right where it attaches in. And then I move through the middle toes and then over to the pinky toe and then back to the middle toes. Ha, and then back to the big toe. Should feel good. Now I'm gonna come right to the ball of the foot. So that big bone, you're gonna push down on it, kind of smash on the ball, and then just move your foot over. So now that ball is in the midfoot region, like right behind the toes, and then over to the lateral edge, and then back to the middle, and then back to the big ball of the foot. Then you position it right underneath the arch of your foot here, and you smash down, and then you do, you do the twist. <laughs> And it feels good because you're just kind of stretching all that fascia, fascial tissue kind of in this circular, you know, pattern. And it really stretches it out. And then you're going to come to the heel here and just kind of push down on the ball, smushing down on it like that. And then lastly, kind of run, run, run your foot across the ball. Whoops, come back. <laughs> All right, so let me show you how you can address this area. So this is your, um, your scalenes and your traps right there. And like I said, when we get tense and stressed, we tend to collect it and hold it there. And so those muscle fibers are just kind of in this constant state of sort of moderate contraction, not max. So you, you kind of, it's easy to... Uh, be oblivious to it. It's just this little bit of me, but all day long at the end of the day, you've got a headache, you know, you've got a crick in your neck and you're just tight and you're sore. So I'm going to, um, how can I do? I know I can do it right here. I was trying to figure out where, cause you want to find a wall that's kind of like this. So I'm going to take the ball. I'm going to position it on my left traps and then I'm going to face, um, the wall here and I'm going to come kind of at a right angle like that and then I'm just going to sort of lean in and that ball is pushing right in I can go a little bit up ooh, and down like that and that feels really 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 good oh my goodness and you can just let that arm hang maybe kind of move it around in little circles while that ball is pushing into those traps but it's key that you find you know a corner of a wall. So I'll just go over here to the other side to get my right traps. This thing's a little bit in the way, but um, you know, just so that I can show you, I think you can kind of see. So I'm going to go here on my right traps. I'm going to face the wall and I'm going to drop over into this kind of right angle and I'm going to position that ball in such a way that as I push in and lean into the wall, that ball is just massaging right across those trap muscles. So this would be very difficult to do if you were lying down on your back. I mean, you can do it, but you pretty much kind of have to contort your body into a strange kind of a bridge <laughs> to do that. Um, so that's a great way to get the, the stress out right there. I hope that that made sense. Um, I think I have a video or if I don't, I'll go back and look through, but if I don't, I will make a, just a short, like two minute video on specifically how to set that up and how to do that effectively, um, to massage your traps. You know, sometimes we just want somebody to come and just do that on our trapezius muscles. Anyhow, I hope you had a good yoga stretch. You should feel just super loosey-goosey now. And I will see you guys on Monday for Total Body Conditioning. Have a great week.